back to Cruising with the Kids. I'm David. And I'm Erin. And this is our dog, Blake. Uh, we wanted to do a real quick video on the truck that we used to pull our fifth wheel with. When we decided to get back into living full time in an RV, we had a 2016 GMC Sierra 2500. Which we thought had plenty of pulling power until we did our research. Right, we did our research and figured that it wasn't enough truck for the fifth wheel that we were looking at that we really wanted to live in full time. So we decided to move up to a year, a newer year model. So we moved up to a 2021 2500 GMC Sierra with the Duramax diesel engine in it. Um, that was a that was the AT4 trim. Beautiful truck. That was Penelope. We love that truck. Awesome truck. But come to find out, even with the 2021 21 model, uh, it still wasn't enough truck really. When we were uh, pulling our fifth wheel, we didn't even have everything in it yet, and the tongue weight was too much on our back axle. Our back axle rating on that 2500 was 6,600 pounds, and we were at 67, 6,800 pounds on that back axle. Well, see, the truck had plenty of towing capability. It could tow perfectly fine. The issue was it was making the truck way too much and the way I simplify it for myself is imagine if you're trying to pull something versus carry something you can pull generally a lot more weight than you can physically carry so the fifth wheel was making our truck carry too much not tow too much we had plenty of towing capacity that was not the problem it was just too much weight on the truck and if it would if it was just couple hundred pounds over the gross vehicle weight of the truck I probably would have stayed with that truck but with it being a couple of hundred pounds over the weight of the back axle and we, had, we we didn't even have everything in our fifth wheel yet we've added multiple, <laughs> multiple things, things to storage in our fifth wheel since since then so luckily we had an, enough equity in our first truck our 2016 that we were able to get that 2021 2500 well we also still had enough equity in that 2021 that we were able to move up to this truck that we have now which is a 2021 GMC Sierra 3500 uh, dually with the Duramax diesel engine has 910 pounds of torque and I believe 445 horsepower um, and with this truck we have more than enough pulling power we could pull any fifth wheel that we yep. that's out there with this truck I mean the back axle on this truck is rated for 10,500 pounds uh, we can pull 31,000 pounds with this truck and the cargo capacity is 5,298 pounds so which is what how much more than the than the AT4? It's around 2,000 more, more pounds, pounds than the uh, 2,500. And one. so many people will say, well, all you got to do is put airbags on it and you can tow more. That's a crock of poo. That is not true. Putting airbags on your truck does not change your cargo capacity at all. All that does is keep your truck from sagging. Yeah, it and gets it, rid of the sag and you're going to... Ride, it'll ride better. You're putting way too much weight on your back axle cause you a lot of problems in the Bra long run. It affects your braking, your braking power, your, your being able to control your truck in an emergency situation, and it can end up tearing the transmission up on your truck. And if your truck's under warranty and the dealership finds out that you've been towing too much trailer for your truck, avoid your warranty. So always err on the side of caution and try to get a little bit, at least a little bit more truck than you actually think you're going to need to be safe actually go through a cat scale and weigh and make sure that you're you've got the right amount of weight on your axles on your trailer axles on your truck axles uh, make sure you're not pulling too heavy uh, make sure you're not illegal yes illegal and main thing is safety is because even if you're driving safe the people are, you can't control what the people around you are doing and you need to make sure you have enough truck that will help you react in an emergency situation. And don't go by what the dealer can t tells you. 
at either the fifth wheel dealer, the truck dealer, don't even go by the internet. You walk up to the truck that you want to buy and David will show you where to find the sticker later and you actually look at the specs on your truck because that's the mistake we made with the, with the AT4. We looked it up on the internet, on the GMC internet, and it told us we had like 300 more pounds of cargo capacity than what the actual, more, yeah, like it might have pounds. been close to 500 pounds than what the sticker said because it totally depends on what trim your truck is and what extras that it has on it or doesn't have on it. It, it could be totally different than what it says on the internet. So always go by the sticker in your door. Very important. So we will uh, do a tour of the exterior and interior of the truck and show you some of the features on it. Um, and as you can see, we're enjoying one right now, sitting on the multifunctional tailgate. This was one of the main reasons we stuck with the GMC and didn't go with any of the other trucks. We love this multifunctional tailgate. A lot of people think it's just a gimmick. It's just, uh, it's not needed. You'll never use it. Use it all, all the, the time. time. I use it constantly. Especially when Multiple we're hooking and week. unhooking from the fifth wheel, it makes it easier to get in the back of the truck. And then, and then if your truck has any type of lift on it, it makes it so much easier to get in and, in and out of. So we love it. Absolutely love it. And by the way, the truck's name is Ferdinand. I named it. He just left, shakes his head and laughs at me. And we call him Ferdy for short. Yeah, I always let her name the vehicles. So. <laughs> <laughs> she always names them guy guy names. It's supposed to be female names. Yeah, I tell her, had, but she don't. Our 2016 was Papa Smurf, and then no, the first 2021 we had was Penelope. Oh, that's right. Yeah, she so, did name but that. we only had Penelope what a month? Right. If even that, and then we we went to Ferdinand. So, well, stay tuned for the truck tour, and um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and we will get you an answer. See you soon. Uh, this is the 2021 GMC Sierra 3500 dually with the Duramax diesel engine in it. And it's the um, Denali trim, right? Right, with the Denali trim and AKA Ferdinand. Yes. The name of the truck. Uh, as you can see, uh, it has the Denali grill, the famous Denali grill. It has the scoop that I like on the hood. Uh, I believe they came out with this scoop uh, maybe in 2019, 2020. I, I like when they came out when they came out with this. I think it makes the truck look a little a lot beefier. The only the only bad part of the beefier hood is it's a lot harder to see over when you're driving. But then they put this nice little thing in. What's that? All right. And then we got the camera right there up front. Yep, that helps a lot when you're pulling when you're going to park. I like all the lights that they have on this truck now with the uh, running lights on top and the, and the lights in the mirrors and uh, of course you got your fog lights and your all the other lights up front um, which stay tuned to the end of the video we will have a clip of it at night with all the lights on all right uh, you go farther down you've got the uh, sensors on the bumper to help you with parking uh, we also have the tow hooks and we have the Bigfoot, the Bigfoot license plate. Yeah, I wanted to get one with a bull for Ferdinand, but I couldn't find one I liked, so I figured this had a, was unique enough. Pretty funny. Just working down the side. Uh, not a whole lot of features to show on the side here. Uh, hoping to upgrade the rims later on. But I've grown to like these. The basic rims that they have on the dually here. Um, nice trailering mirrors. We have the bigger trailering mirrors. These mirrors do uh, slide in and out. Uh, they're slid in now. When when you go to trailer, I just push a button on the inside and they slide out for you. And they also fold in because this truck does take a lot of room up and parking spaces and people like to ding your mirrors. So we always fold them in when we leave, which we can do with our key fob, which is really nice. One of the features that we have on this truck we didn't have on our older truck is the push button. As long as you have the key in your pocket, you push that button, the door unlocks and you can open the door.
And it's nice because it is on all four doors instead of just the front door. And another thing we really like is this step. Yes, they, on the GMCs they have a step here and they have a step on the back of the bed of the truck to help you get up and secure cargo, whatever. And this is what we were talking about. They now have the diesel exhaust fluid here next to the get, next to the diesel fill up. So you can do it all in one, one place. Very nice. And not try to lift up, because we used to buy boxes of diesel and I'd have to try to lift them up, a diesel exhaust fluid, and put it in there, so. Another thing I like is the lights on the fender of the truck, on both the front and the back fender. Now the one one thing we don't like is for some reason there is no protection on the wheel well. I don't know if you can see that very well. So that's one thing we've got to get is um, either a spray coating or some type of covering to go on the inside of that wheel well. I'm sorry, what were you going to say, babe? Now coming around to the back, here's the step we were talking about on the back, on the bumper here. Um, <clears throat> And then we have the multi-functioning tailgate. Which we love! Um, you have, uh, if you just push this bottom button here, that opens the tailgate. You have this button here to pull this up. So now, if you are carrying something a little bit longer than the bed and have to leave the tailgate open, you can have this popped up and the wood or whatever else you're carrying can be propped up right against this and, it, and then be tied down. It makes it uh, nice. You can carry a lot longer, a lot longer things than you normally could. Um, then if you just hit that top button there, it, has, it makes the step go down. And over here, you have the handle, which uh, makes it real easy just to step up can hold on the handle if need be and get up in the truck. This holds right back down. And then this easily just holds right back up. Use that all the time. You also Thanks. have the option of just opening, um, shown just opening half the tailgate. Right. If you say you have the top of the tail, the bed cover closed, just want to open this part to grab something, put something in, or just to have something hanging out that's a little bit long, but you have it hanging out here. Yep. That'll work also. Or, of course, you can do it like that. Let me show. Propped up there. And for the bed cover, I chose to put on retracts bed cover system really nice uh, you can it has a locking feature here you can lock it in place wherever you put it so I can uh, just pull it about right here close it down I can lock it right there if need be or of course just pull it all the way closed and you can lock it in place um, I really like the Retrex. It's uh, really sturdy, uh, pulls and pulls real, real good. And uh, the only thing I don't like about it is it does leak a little bit, especially on this left side here. I think maybe I need to adjust it a little bit and bring it down some, but uh, it does have problems with a little bit of leaking. Uh, I noticed uh, I've seen multiple videos now on the internet that. Uh, other people are also having problems with the Retrex leaking. And this was a bed cover that he ordered himself and uh, had it shipped to the RV park and he installed it by itself. But I will tell you the boxes were pretty heavy. So um, if you can't handle a lot of weight, you may want to go somewhere and get this installed because it was a, it had yeah, a significant need, amount of weight. You can do it all yourself, by yourself, except getting the box with the track up onto the bed. Yep, so it, yeah, one like it's at some point in the installation you have to have two people. So over here we have the seven point 
um, plug for the tr for the RV plug-in, the trailer plug-in, and on this side you have uh, 120 volt plug, so you can plug whatever you need to in here. You could work do work on the tailgate or whatever else. And there is also lighting you can see right there that comes quite in handy in the evening if you're trying to do something works something in the bed or hook up to the fifth wheel at night you can see we have the anderson fifth wheel hitch uh we'll do a video later on of installing that how easy it is to install and compare and, uh, it to a regular hitch and how good it's been for us and how many miles we got on everything um up there you have two different cameras one camera is for looking into the bed of the truck and the other camera is for your rear view mirror you actually it actually acts as the rear view mirror for you it's an HD camera instead of just a reflecting mirror um, and then here we have two more cameras a backing camera and one camera to help with uh, parking and, and maneuvering around the camera we have cameras all the way around the truck which helps to you can see all the way around the truck. Yep, 360 you're, view. When you're backing up or when you're pulling, when you're going real slow forward or trying to park. And then just a quick view down this side, basically the same as the other. Okay, some of the features on the inside of the truck here. Uh, on your steering wheel, you have your cruise control your heated steering wheel, your hands-free buttons for making phone calls, and then these buttons go up and down to, uh, to adjust the information on the screen. You can look at uh, your music, your navigation, you can look at your phone calls. Everything you can think of is right there on that screen, and you control it with this button here. Then you come over to the entertainment center, media center. Uh, very user friendly. I like the system in the GMC. Um, it very, is a smaller screen than than most yeah, of the that's, other trucks. Uh, that's one thing GMC has been has slacked on. They have not <clears throat> gotten a bigger screen. I believe uh, they've talked about in 2023. The bigger screen finally getting some bigger screens in their truck which to be honest this one this one's great i mean it yeah, works it's great big enough for me it works great the functionality is perfect um you know anything you want to go do is just to pu push the button and go yep very easy to use i like the touch touching features on it, it it's uh flows nicely yep um Another thing about uh, GMC is, you know, Denali. This is a Denali. It is their top trim package. So they only go so nice with their seats and everything else. When you, <clears throat> which is nice enough for me. I'm not complaining. I love the interior of this truck. But uh, of course, with Ford and Dodge, uh, you can go keep going up and up and up and up and trim and just get phenomenal. Uh, interior features yeah i will um, say dodge and ford make a beautiful truck on the inside it is they are gorgeous but definitely don't complain about this one it's got the stitched leather on the dash it's got the nice leather seats um of course the seats are heated and cooled and we uh, love to keep our tushy cool or <clears throat> tushy warm when need be got a place here to put your cell phone and it charges it automatically when you sit it there uh got two cup holders here two cup holders back here um, up here we have the this is the heated seats the cooled seats um, then you have the exhaust brake comes in handy when you're hauling the fifth wheel up love, and down mountains love having the exhaust brake uh, I don't even have to I'm going down these five six percent downgrades with the exhaust brake on and sometimes I don't I have to hit the gas to go faster because the exhaust brake slowing me down too much. So I don't have to use the brakes at all going down the mountains. Very nice. Very, very nice. <clears throat> this this is just the lane assist 
uh, function, it's a safety function, if you have that on, then it will buzz your butt and let you know that you're going Tickle out of your lane. Tickle your tushy. <clears throat> this is the parking assist. Once again, it'll buzz your butt and <laughs> beep at you if you're about to hit something. Um, this just opens a tailgate of the truck. You push it and tailgate opens for you, of course. And now this is the the hazards, the traction control, and this is the button to turn on the 120 volt plug that we have here. Yeah, don't forget to do that because I've plugged in my phone to charge it and waited and waited and waited and never charged and I realize it's because we never hit the freaking button. Then you have just your regular old cigarette lighter plug here, then your USB ports, um, and then of course your brake controller here. For the trailer. For the your, trailer. Your brake assist. Right. You should adjust the gain of the brakes. So. And then up here, it's kind of hard to see, but that is what the rear view mirror looks like. That is with, the, this with, is the HD camera rear view mirror. Yep. If you have it like that, that's the HD camera. And then if you just move it like that, that turns it into a regular rear view mirror. Which you can't mirror. really, unfortunately, you can't really see on the video, but yep. Right. I love the HD camera. Yep, took a little bit of getting used to, but it, you get such a wide angle. You can see everything behind you, night or day. It's very clear, really nice. It's one of my favorite features on this truck. Uh, you have kind of double glove boxes here. You have a smaller one up top there and a little bit bigger one on the bottom here. We also have tons of storage here in this middle console. And a safe. Yep, and a safe with a combination so that I can put my pistol in it. If uh, I'm going in somewhere that you're not allowed to have a gun, I can put my pistol in the safe, lock it up, and feel a lot more secure that if someone does break into the truck, they're not going to get to the gun. Show them the uh, mirrors telescoping out. Yep. He's got if, a... Um, Go ahead. If I... I'm ready to pull the fifth wheel all I have to do is hit a button here and it will telescope the mirrors out so I can see farther around the trailer just hit the button again and of course they will come back in and then there's another what's button what's nice yeah. is when you're parking with this a bigger truck like this this is a, this is a wide truck uh, bigger truck it's harder to fit in parking spaces so when I am in a small parking space I just hit a button and bring the mirrors in oh. which as I said earlier we can also do that from our key fob which is really nice you can do it as you're walking away so and over there on his other side take that yeah over here we have the uh, with the GMC this 2021 Denali you have three different modes you can see here the mode button and if I uh, put to the left that's the trailering mode if I to the right I got really normal it, baby. Oh. You can't. There you go. oh sorry so to the right there we have off-road mode um, or or you can go to normal mode or you can go back into trailering mode um, also, of course, you have four-wheel drive, high and low, and automatic here. You put it in auto, and it will adjust to the terrain. It'll, it'll use the back wheels. It'll use the front wheels. Whatever it feels like it needs to use to have the best traction and the best control of the truck. And then you just have the, the light for the bed of the truck. And adjust the, you can adjust the brightness here and things like that. So there's seven different cameras on this truck altogether. I want to show you a quick little video of some of the functioning functionalities of the cameras. If I go into the camera mode here, first pops up. You'll see on the left hand side there is a view all the way around the truck. On the right hand side there is a view of what's in front of my truck right now. If I put it in reverse, you'll see it goes to a rear 
rear view camera where I can see what's directly behind me and it gives me the guidelines to help me to back straight into a parking space or back safely around whatever I need to back around. If I go into some of the trailering cameras, let's see here, you see the camera focuses directly on the ball of my filth wheel hitch and gives me a line to guide me back so I can get center underneath the fifth wheel itself. Makes trailering so much easier, so much faster, safer. If I want to uh, have a closer look at the ball, once I get closer and I'm centered under the ball, under the fifth wheel, then I can have a closer look and see if, I, if I'm right underneath it or if I need to adjust in any way. So there's multiple different uh, cameras here. Let's see, uh, just uh, go through some of these here. That gives you a, a closer look at the back, what's around you on the back on the right hand side there. This gives you a front view of the uh, entire truck, maybe a 3D view there and you can see all the way around the truck except for you know directly behind you that there on the right hand side gives you a view down the right and left side so you can see all the way up and down the right and left hand side there now we're gonna show you just a real quick view of the back. One thing we really like are these uh, plastic mats. They really help keep it clean. It goes all the way across the back of the truck so it protects the carpet of the truck. Another thing that we really like is unlike our 2016 we now have vents, air conditioning vents back here. Yeah, that's one thing I really didn't like about the 2016 that did not have these vents. And uh, a lot of other uh, trucks Fords and Dodges, I believe, already did have these vents in the back. And uh, so the screen in the front and then the vents in the back is one thing GMC were slacking on there. And they are also, the back seats are heated. They are not cooled, but they are heated. Yeah, the front seats are heated and cooled. Only The back seats are only heated. And another thing we really like is how easy it is to push these seats up. So it's split, so you can put so just we, one. You can put one up, or we can put them both up. Excuse our mess. something a lot <laughs> bigger and flatter. You can uh, lay it out here. Makes a lot more room for it. Yep. And if it's taller, you put those seats up, then it has, you know, that much more room. Yep. And we do have a little, we do have a little window back there that slides open and close the controls up front. And then we have, you do have two cup holders there for the passengers in the back. Mm-hmm.